That eighth grade trip to D.C. is really a rite of passage for so many students. And after not being able to take those trips for two years, these eighth graders were quite excited. But this recent trip has resulted in a rash of positive COVID tests. We recently received those updated infection numbers. 56 students from two schools have now tested positive following that trip to the nation's capital. It's not clear which schools the students attended. We do know the schools contacted county health leaders with information on positive cases. A majority of the cases are mild and a majority of the infected students are vaccinated and about half of those students have their booster shots as well. NBC Bay Area has obtained copies of both the letters sent to students and parents at those impacted school as well as the letters letters from the Marin County Health Department. A spokesperson from the health department tells us at this moment they are not revealing the names of the schools experiencing that uptick in cases. We are also receiving return to school guidelines. Right now, the recommendation from the county health department is anyone infected with COVID, regardless of vaccination status, should stay home for at least five days after the start of their symptoms. Isolation can end after the symptoms end or there is a negative COVID test. Now, this comes as several cities, including D.C., seeing an uptick in cases. Just this week, 72 people tested positive for COVID in D.C. at an annual dinner, among them several members of Pub uh, President Joe Biden's cabinet, as well as New York Mayor Eric Adams. In the last 24 hours, it was announced that two D.C. area universities, American and George Washington universities, are reinstating the mask mandate because of an increase of cases. Now, we spoke with you. UCSF infectious disease expert Dr. Peter Chen Hong on the spread of this latest BA2 variant. He says this variant is following a predictable pattern. We've seen uh, this pattern before. It happens uh, in Europe, it comes to the East Coast, and then it comes to the West Coast. What we may see happening more is a faster change from one region to the other because of decrease in restrictions. Uh, you know, in general with COVID. So uh, virus will probably tend to travel around more as people move around more. And of course, it's spring break now. He also shared that vaccinations and those boosters can still greatly reduce the severity of an infection, as we saw with those infected students from Marin County. Now, today at 3 p.m., Marin County um, uh, Board of Education, as well as the Public Health Department, they'll be hosting a joint Zoom meeting to notify and spread information for those parents and students that were infected on this D.C. trip, as well as any parents um, at the schools where these infections happened. Again, at 3 p.m., and you can find more information at Marin MarinSchools.org. We're in Marin County, Sierra Johnson for NBC Bay Area News. Thanks so much.